What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Mike and Jesse. How's it going? Howdy doody. Guys, we're doing a little prediction theory thing again for you. Um, and this time, we want to talk about after episode 11, uh, we want to talk about what's going on with a couple of the characters. So first up, we're going to talk about Sherry. We're going to talk about Sherry and Eugene today, but we want to talk about first, uh, we're going to talk about Sherry. So, uh, Mike, you you seem to have the most theory about this. So what do you what do you think is going to happen? Will Sherry join Alexandria now that she's out of out from underneath Negan's mm -hmm. clutches? Wowzers. Yeah, no. So obviously in the episode, we don't know what happened to her. We don't know where she where she left. So I kind of have these ideas of um, does she know what other communities does she know about? Does she know about Hilltop? Does she know about no the kingdom? Idea. We don't we don't really know. Yeah, we don't know. We don't know um, what she knows. It, exactly. So I kind of think that Negan kind of keeps it under wraps. But um, my, my main point was, and I think it would be really interesting, is if for some reason she bumps into Daryl. Mm, Being okay. with that, I can see her obviously um, explaining to him, um, because obviously they had, they had this um, interaction before. You know, we know what happened with yeah. that. So it would be interesting for her to, to explain to Daryl that she was the one that let him out. And I can see that being the vessel to, in, you know, an introduction to the Alexandrians, to, um, you know, Rick and the group. And it would be a little bit of a difference from, you know, the comic book, if you know about the comic and you know what happens with Sherry. I can kind of see, instead of um, Dwight maybe having uh, a change of heart and joining and coming towards the survivors, that maybe both of them do at some point. Maybe Dwight will also leave, but that's something totally different. But I can see Sherry possibly um, joining along with Rick and Alexandria, and maybe Dwight finds out somehow. Um, so I think that would be interesting if both characters, Dwight and Sherry, eventually, you know, join our survivors. Um, okay. What do you guys, All you right. know, what do you guys think about Jesse, that? Jesse, you had a counterpoint when we spoke about it uh, previously. So I don't know if it was a counterpoint per se. I, I'm pretty sure she's going to, you know, I think it goes along with Mike's because she's going to step up into her comic book role and be a leader, obviously. And this is what it's setting it up for. So if she goes out on her own and finds another group and, like, gets along with them, melds with them, and if it's Rick's group, all the more power to it. Yeah. And if it's Hilltop, it's even better. And if it's Kingdom, not so much. So. So you think, okay, so you don't think she's going to come back to the Saviors? I don't think she's going to come back to the Saviors yet. Well, she okay. will leave the step, Saviors. You said stepping up in the comic role, and spoilers... Sherry yeah. goes back to the Saviors after the the war with Negan. So, you know. So okay. Well, so she you, never so, left, right? She never well, she, in the comic, left. she never leaves, yeah. right? But yeah. in, you know, obviously she's gone. So uh, okay. Yeah. So well, okay. Well, you you think she's gonna end up being a leader? I think she's going to step up into a role, become more d independent rather than dependent on people. Yeah. And that means she's gonna step up into a role of leader okay. at the Saviors later. Okay. All right. I mean, I guess that's yeah. That's a, I guess that's a possibility. I don't see it that way because obviously, if she is taken in and she does mesh well with with our group, with our survivor group, there would have to be something astronomical that goes against her for her to change again and decide to be against, you know, or lead the saviors and be against um, the survivors, you know. But hey, well, spoilers again. Uh, up to a certain point. Uh, the saviors are for Rick's group after Negan's defeated. Right. Oh, I see. All right, good. So there we go. All right. Well, you, uh, I think that we're not going to fucking see her again. I think I think she's not going to do really? either of those things. I we're think she's not going to be anything. Yeah. No, nah, we're going to see her. No, nah, I don't. I, she's not. If we see her, she's she's they not going to be a leader. I don't think she's going to do any of that shit. I think I think I think it's a weak character on the show. Um, in the comic, she wasn't even anything either. She just all of a sudden happened to be what, what she is in the comic at this point. It's like, okay, whatever. She was kind of uh, like the alpha. Uh, yeah, but we didn't see it, Jess. It wasn't, there wasn't a, there wasn't a grand coming up. There wasn't like, you know, it was just all of a sudden it's like, oh shit, wait, who is that? And you know, me and the characters in the comic book, I can yeah, like, I'm always like, who the fuck is that? Cause they all look the same to me. <laughs> whatever. I think no, fuck it. Let's move on. Uh, hey. th so that's what we think about Sherry. Good. Let's move on with Eugene. 
uh, do you guys think Eugene will join Negan? Now, before you guys go into this, um, I'll just preface it by saying, um, in all the videos of the episode we made, you know, I was saying that he's he's uh, he's lying again, and he's uh, he's going back into his old ways of you know do what i have to do say what i have to say to be protected you know yeah. which is a shame because you know he was really becoming into his own um you know well we saw the potential with like the bullet with that tease of him and, and abraham uh back right. when abraham was still alive right you know we you saw know, that tease of how important he could be yeah and he also he also was training he was training yeah. he was learning how to fight yeah. how to melee fight he was learning how to take care of walkers but I think that with the with with the the death of a bunch of people that you know he I think he's now retreating into himself. Um, uh, my prediction for him is going to be that he's he's I don't know how to put this. Either at first he's going to switch and then go back, or he's like it's it's some like he's. I, I think he's. I think he's doing what he has to do for now. But when it comes down to it, he's gonna go back and. He's be playing the long con. Yeah, it's gonna be. He's he's playing the long. He's doing a long con. He's playing the long game. Um, I don't nec- I guess so. I guess. I guess I don't think he's fully switching, but he will for now. You know, like you said, if it's a long con, so yeah. Doing what he must to survive. Yeah, yeah. I I, I don't I, think I don't think that everything that he's been through that's been positive for him is lost on him. I think I think he's there's still that new Eugene in there, but he had to go back yeah. to his old self for to, as a, as well, a yeah. shield. I mean, for, for me, I definitely I agree with you when you say um, you know, he's back in his old ways just like he tricked Abraham from the beginning. Um, I can definitely see that. My thing is, and I agree right now he's playing whatever role he needs to with Negan. Mm. My my idea is Will he begin to like it? Will he begin to like some of this power? You know what I mean? Because we kind of saw how he was standing on the railing with. Oh, he with, liked. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that's I agree, my yeah. that's my that's my biggest um, question mark of because I I too can see both ways. I can see him playing doing whatever he has to do until Rick possibly and and then the war comes and Rick you know takes over or whatever whatever the war out you know, uh, will, will the outcome will be, yeah. and maybe they get Eugene back that way, but I can definitely see a little spark in him. And they, and they showed that they showed him looking over and his plan went, went into, into fruition with the iron on the head and the, and the metal on the head of the walkers. Right. So that's the, the one part for me that I think that there is a possibility that he will, will switch. Um, and uh, the second part is how long can he put on the charade with Negan? Like now we know he's not just he's not just playing some smart guy. He made up this whole thing that he's uh, you know a scientist you know and all this kind of thing. Will he be able to? All right, so some guy comes in with a with a you know a, a severe injury. It's only going to take that one time that he won't be able to heal, or he won't know what the what the fuck he's doing. His lie can only go so much. You know what? But we don't know what he knows about first aid. He knows a lot of stuff, and you know what? As far as keeping up the charade, forget the medical stuff for a moment. Yeah, I think he'll always have something to tell Negan. Negan's not a very bright guy. Let's 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 not fucking you know uh, split hairs I here. Say he's that. not. Well, I wouldn't he's say not the that. brightest guy. He's 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 scheming and stuff, but 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 it, you give him one smart. thing and he'll be okay. Like like if if he if if Eugene continues to give him these ideas, which are really just he's a he's a fucking sci-fi nerd. He's he's a fantasy nerd. That well, his head's full of this shit. It's like it's like right? when you were a little kid and you had the star chart on the wall. Like yeah. when you did something good, <laughs> yeah, you got a yeah, star yeah. sticker. Right. So it's the same kind of concept. Now now Eugene got a couple stars for right. those ideas and, that he gave. And like you said, so what happens the first time take... he doesn't do it? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then he's gonna exactly. be like, Oh, I don't want this anymore. Hold on, I'm not king anymore, right? Just yeah. what do you think about that? So, man? so... <sighs> He, he's obviously doing a facade. That, that's all yeah. it is. You, you're it's you're all the way facade. You're you're all the way. And the reason I say this is Eugene is many things: a coward, a liar, a snivel crybaby. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But he is not a traitor. Yeah. He does have his honor. Yeah, Lloyd's got he that never loyalty. once betrayed yeah. Abraham. Yeah. He will never betray Rick. And he's just playing this to where he can survive long enough to get out. Okay. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. But the one thing, like I said, was he had he that, like it? Yeah. that power. You know, he, yeah. didn't, he never had. He's not going to like the power. I don't know, man. I don't know. He's sitting there eating a pickle on the balcony with a freaking sock puppet hanging out of his yeah. pocket. You know, I guess, well, you know, I guess I got more faith in Eugene than that. Yeah. Although I don't have that much faith in the writer, so it could be a possibility. Could be a possibility. Okay. Well, I mean, that's what we thought about, uh, uh, you know, of Sherry and Eugene guys. I mean, unless there's anything else you guys want to add in there. Don't, uh, we think, don't need I to mean, make this just, a 25-minute video. Uh, guys, let us know down in the comments what you think about Sherry and Eugene and where you think they're going to yeah. go. What other theories you guys have heard or come up with on your own. Uh, as we're ending this thing, I just want to remind you that we do. We're still uh, still got that promo code for comicblitz.com. If you so go there and you want to get yourself some comics, you get you get your first three-month subscription for only $3. That's a dollar a month, unlimited comics, using the promo code thirdpersonpod. Go check it out, comicblitz.com. They got all sorts of awesome comics, graphic novels. Go go get your binge on, like Mike likes to say. Yeah, um, go binge on. Yep. And don't forget, don't forget about the giveaway. We just started the, the last and final QFig um, giveaway. We have a separate video for that, just go to gleam. Uh, dot, dot, I, dot, I, yeah, it's in the, it'll yeah. it'll be on the in the in the comments uh, in the subscription in below. The description the, below. Description yeah. below. What, what we Not all the can't subscription. Talk. It's all right. Know, whatever. Yeah. The subscription it's is late. the whole We're thing. For, <laughs> the comic blitz thing is. Yeah. The same. And uh, guys, yeah, so if you're that out. good luck with that, good luck, guys. And if you're listening to us on iTunes, thank you very much for that. Um, yeah. Remember, uh, try and leave a little rating if you if you'd like if you like us and uh, you want us to see us grow, and uh, you can help us out by just leaving a little uh, rating so other people can see it too. That would that would greatly help us. And if you're watching us on YouTube, hi. Thank you. Thank you. We love you guys. <laughs> don't forget, no, go check you. us out at Third Person Pod and all those socials. All right. I don't think I've said that in like the past ten videos. But oh, they know. Huh? I think they can see all the. They're down this, there. They're yeah, down they see there. all those little icons. Who looks at down that shit? I don't look at that shit. Does anyone? Like and anyway, subscribe. Check us out. Hit the like button. God, whatever. Should I put a big, huge like, one of those big, huge graphics oh, God, on the screen no. right now? That's all. <laughs> yeah, subscribe, anyway. subscribe, subscribe. Yeah. Flashes Fuck, on across the screen, right? Fucking YouTube. Hey, man. If anyway, you like us, subscribe. Yeah, thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Peace.